G'day everyone. So in this video, I'm going to go through my Zen with mouse and keyboard settings to use with Modern Warfare 2. The first thing you'll need to do is to download my mouse and keyboard profile. There's going to be a link to that one in the description. After you've downloaded it, you're going to need to install it onto your Zen here. So this is how you do it. You plug your Zen into your PC using the mini USB that plugs into the right hand side of the Zen. The other end into your PC, obviously. You open up your Zen Studio and you come to this M&K settings tab. Now over here on the right hand side, you'll see load a default layout. You want to click that one and click yes. Mine was already done but if yours isn't go ahead and do that okay so it'll look a bit like this from there what you want to do is import my mouse and keyboard profile so to do that you go to this button up the top right here that says import layout when you hover over it we click that one and you go to wherever you save my mouse and keyboard profile okay so mine's on the desktop i believe it probably won't show up straight away so what you want to do is you want to come to this part right here you want to click that and change it to mk zen layout files okay click that and then it will show up okay so double click that and then everything will change. Okay, so you can see the ballistic curve, all the buttons here, everything's changed. Now, before we save that, make sure you go through the button mappings here and make sure everything's how you would like it. Uh, because this is the way I like to have my buttons, it might not be the way you like to have it. Okay, so when you play mouse and keyboard, you might have a certain button to do your kill streaks or something. Uh, I might have that different to you on here. Okay, so what I'm saying is check what I've got and match it to how you like to have uh, that certain button. Now, I've made sure to include in the title of the profile here, if you haven't seen it, up the top left here, Wayno MW2 3200 DPI. So that's the DPI that I'm using. Now, I, I thought I was using 10,000. I'll just fill you in a little bit of the story there. I didn't realize that when I was opening up Logitech G Hub and setting my DPI to 10,000, 14,000, like I've mentioned in previous videos, once I then plugged my mouse into the Zen, the mouse was changing back to a default profile where the highest DPI was 3,200 and I didn't know that. So first of all, that's my bad. I'm sorry about that one, but I genuinely just, I didn't know. So now that I've realized uh, that 3,200 DPI is uh, where it's at. And if you've seen my mouse and keyboard gameplay in the past, you, you see how smooth it is. It's quite good. I understand they say to use 10,000 or higher for PC, but I mean, I, I thought I was and I've been using the 3,200 this whole time and it's been absolutely fine. So uh, that's what I'm sticking with and that's what works well. One other thing I want to point out is on this Ox One profile here, you'll see the ballistic curve ramps up like crazy. The reason why I've done this is because when you're using the Zen with mouse and keyboard and you're parachuting in, the parachuting sensitivity is extremely slow. So what I've done here is I've made this so the sensitivity is extremely high, the ballistic curve is really high, and what you can do is you can press right alt on your keyboard and that will activate this profile for when you're parachuting in. It makes the sensitivity really high and makes it a lot easier to look around when you're parachuting in. To turn it off again, you simply just press right alt and it turns off and goes back to uh, all the other settings that we've got here. But once you're happy with everything, once you, if you change any button mappings or whatever you wanted to do, all you need to do after that is press this button down here, the finalize layout, click that, it'll save it to the device and we're all good to go. All right, so I'm gonna go through some in-game settings. Let's get into it. We've got uh, 2020 for the horizontal and the vertical stick sensitivity. ADS sensitivity multiplier is one. If you use this profile, you use these settings and you find the ADS is a bit too slow, you obviously wanna come in here and turn this one up, okay? Um, but I like to leave mine on one, that's good for me. Again, for you, if it's too slow, just simply turn it up, it's very easy. Uh, over on the advanced tab here, I like to use the Black Ops aim assist, I find that one a bit stronger. And then the uh, aim response curve type, I've got that on linear, 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 whatever, tomato, tomato. Um, the ADS sense multiplier for when you're focusing, I've got that on one. And I've also got the ADS sensitivity transitioning timing on instant. Now, if you end up changing the ADS sensitivity multiplier, if you end up turning this one up, what I would suggest you do is come in here and maybe experiment with changing the ADS sensitivity transitioning time to gradual or maybe after zoom. You'll see why once you change it, because if you have a weapon that is a little bit slow when you're aiming down your sight, you'll notice when it's on instant, as soon as you aim down your sight, the sensitivity is going to change and it can throw you off just a little bit uh, as it's sort of aiming down the sight. It can, it's a bit weird to explain. It's more something that you'll need to experience, but that's one thing there that I suggest experimenting with only if uh, you end up changing the ADS sensitivity multiplier above one, okay? That's it. Other than that, I'm pretty sure all the other uh, settings there, it all comes down to personal preference. Um, everything I went through is all, you know, pretty much what you definitely need to have, like Lanier 2020, that sort of thing. Obviously, all the other stuff like tactical sprint and the stuff down here, that's all That's all up to you. And there we go. So that's everything I needed to go through for the video. You've got the mouse and keyboard profile. You've got my in-game settings. And now I'll leave you with just a few clips of me using this setup so you know it works, so you can see it working. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask those down in the comments. Cheers for watching. I'll see you next time.
Oh, that's my teammate. What the? F Dolphin dive saved him. Now. Our UAV is orbiting the area. Beach already. Reloading. There you go. What? Oh, as if. I know I'm getting snaked to <laughs>